While my tailor gets busy with my new outfit, Joanne and I head back to the village of Gurna, just outside the Valley of the Kings, to investigate another vital element of daily life in ancient Egypt. Senegem has had a hard morning. He's been painting inside the pharaoh's tomb in a hundred degree heat. But now it's lunchtime. So what would he eat? Of course, this was a staple um, of an ancient Egyptian diet as well, the beer and the bread. This is a typical ancient Egyptian meal. Their entire culture was based on the two ingredients we see on the table now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's absolutely laden with calories. It oh, really will pile the pounds like a parata. It's quite greasy. And... It is. But the, the, the beauty of it is, I mean, it is so high calorie. It would give a, an amazing amount of energy, which oh. is it's good, isn't it? No, oh, it doesn't taste like parata. It, it's lighter. It's just, I mean... <laughs> you don't need to eat anything else than this. It's just delicious. Well, this, this is the kind of stuff that the pyramids were basically built on and recent excavations at Giza, at no. the Pyramid Builder's Village, have found the huge bakeries which supplied the needs of the pyramids. These pyramid are the buildings. foundations for the pit. Those Absolutely. Huge I mean, the loaves that were made in kind of almost terracotta plant pots mm. were such high-calorie, dense mm. loaves that they would have given all the energy necessary to build a pyramid. Mm. I mean, when people hear sort of people, modern people think about the ancient Egyptians living on bread and beer, they think, oh, poor things. But of course, they're thinking about sliced bread in the Processed. super a supermarket. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a different thing. It's a totally this this taste of so many different kinds. Today, in parts of rural Egypt, each lady has her own little oven outside the house, and um, they all.